What is up guys, welcome back to another Arena of Valor Esports review and this time we are going to be taking a look at Pop's Bacon Time going up against Talon Esports and I think this is the zip game that you guys wanted to see. So uh, I just got done recording the other one and I felt kind of scammed but I think this is going to be the close one, the juicy one where J-Jack performs super well on his zip. So yeah, again, Talon picking up that zip, not banned for some reason against J-Jack here. Um, move on on his Kefani, of course Zip Kefani is such a nice combo, you can already see him saving her there. Um, Ignis in that mid lane on Huck, Happy on his Krikknack, and we have Overfly on his uh, Yena. Okay, so that's gonna be really fun to see as well. Meanwhile, on the side of Bacon Time, we have a pretty interesting team comp. We have a very standard Florentino in the, in the Slayer lane. We have Get Search on his Zephyr, which is kind of special to see. Not really seen often so far in this tournament. We have D-Rock again, super standard mid laner on Mimarks. Uh, very, very good D-Rock player here. And yeah, we have that Krizix again, standard support. Meanwhile, J-Jack is getting caught. You guys are scamming me again, man. This um, guy is feeding once again on his zip. I'm just kidding. He didn't feed the other game. Um, but so far it gets picked up for that first blood. Nice little advantage for a bacon time there. And to finish off with that kind of weird special pick on bacon side, it is of course that Violet in the Abyssal Dragon lane. We have seen her um, a couple times, but only in the jungle so far, okay? And also not that often. So Violet is not really too popular this tournament, but if she's picked up, she is. she was always in the jungle but she is gonna be in that Abyssal Dragon lane here. So we'll see how she will do, of course. Um, she will have some more protection compared to a Jungle Violet because she has that flicker now, okay? Uh, Zip just completed his Balenciagas of speed, his Hermes Select. Uh, so we will see what he will be able to do. That, um... wait, what happened? Oh, Zip sucked up the minions. d thought he can just clear out that wave with his ultimate, but very well played by Jjax, sucks up the minions, so he protects them from that D-Rock ult, and now D-Rock is stuck in his mid lane for so long, look at this, he just, he just um, made this D-Rock waste 20 seconds, that is pretty nice, honestly, that is really, really nice, so very well played there, nice little macro sense by Jjax, of course, one of the best macro players in the world, uh, historically, since um, um, first AWC, uh, just absolutely crazy player. So yeah, he uh, sucks up those minions once again. Now he gets caught again by that Krizix into the Zephyr's ult. Very nice little Archigorp saves him though. Of course, Krizix, Zephyr's, such a nice combo. Krizix reduces the enemy's armor and magic resistance. And Zephyr's does that mix, mix damage with his uh, ultimate, with those, with that mark that does uh, magic damage. But while I'm saying that, um, Happy is able to pick up that first Abyssal Dragon for Talon Esports here. So they are able to equalize the lead a little bit. Only 400 gold behind now. Um, well, they're not really behind at all. Um, as you can see, the gold value is totally constantly changing. changing. Uh, Zip gets caught out. Nice combo by Yena. Oh, she is not able to get that. Ooh, Zip sucks her up, rolls back in. And now we have a nice fight. Because now we have so much AoE coming out from both teams. Ignis ult, D-Rock ult, and now the Florentino using his Arctic Orb. But that... Ooh, Kefani picks up that Violet right in the end there. And they are able to trade 1 for 0 there for the side of Talon. So very nice little counter engage by that Zip coming through. Knocking up a couple people. And yeah, we'll see what happens here now. The Kefani is just going to clear out that bottom lane wave. I'm gonna get some more farm. And I feel like Kefani late game is stronger than Violet in my opinion. Because uh, Kefani is just ridiculous. Uh, but Violet definitely not not too far behind. Again, D-Rock versus Ignis a late game. Both are incredibly strong. I'll put them on the same level there. And yeah, we have that Florentino definitely outscaling a Yena late game. We have that Zephyrs, definitely outscaling uh, both Zephyrs and Krikknack, not too good in late game, but I feel like uh, Zephyrs with that passive is just so tanky that he takes that cake. And of course, Krizix and Zip both really strong late game, but I think Kriz Zip is just the strongest support in the entire game. So, late game, I would give it to Talon. 
because of the way their heroes interact, uh, that Kefani just will not be killable because of that zip, basically, right? But of course, Bacon has that Krizix, um, just so much AoE combo, right, with that Krizix, that can always pop off late game, so this should be a very interesting game because both teams are very even so far, five, six minutes almost into the game, and yeah, Kefani just clearing that wave very simply with that beautiful laser on that skin. That skin is so nice. And yeah, they are able to uh, try to get this drag. I think they can get it. Yeah, this is half HP. This Kefani is just going to burn it down with her minigun. And it is gone. And they are able to pick up that second dragon as well. So very well played there. Talon Esports in the lead now. They, are able, they were able to uh, not only equalize, but turn it around. And of course, this small, minuscule goal lead doesn't matter too much though. Although it is 1k all of a sudden, so they are just out farming, they're just stealing some jungle camps, and they are just turning this around really, really hard. And this Florentino will just completely drop. He is trying to save that tower, of course. It was still worth because that tower dropping would have been worse than him dying. But I think the tower will just drop now in retrospect. So, not, not really sure, man. Yeah. Nah. I mean, if your team isn't there to follow up, it is not worth suiciding for a wave. And now it is a 2k gold lead almost for the side of Talon. Violet picking up that tower though, is able to equalize it. And the towers are dead even. Uh, the dragons, of course, in favor of Talon and the, the gold still 2k in favor. Oh my goodness, that tower is almost dropping though. So Yena just completely left alone, guys. That is crazy. He just completely ignored that Yena and she's able to pick up almost two towers which is just a huge swing because that enables this slayer to be completely exposed from that top side so um kefani kriknak yep that is a ton of slayer damage guys as you might have guessed kefani Krik kriknak probably the two marksmen and um jungle combo that do the most slayer damage in the game honestly that percentage damage coming through from that um Kriknag is just absolutely insane at taking down that Slayer, so we will see a very early Slayer, I think, this game. I think Talon should already be pos positioning just their Marksman and Jungler around it, because these two are enough to do it very, very quickly. And meanwhile, um, Ignis and Zip can zone the enemies away from it, and that should be a pretty good plan here. Of course, they need to be a little bit sneaky, you know, they need to do it. They need like 5 to 10 seconds where the enemies don't expect them to be doing it. And at that point it's already way too low HP for the enemies to follow up. Uh, we'll see if they can get this setup though. Meanwhile they are just deciding to push that bot lane tower. Again, if they push these bot towers, that of course clears up that Slayer as well. Because now they have to defend that wave. But Krizik's very nice positioning there is providing vision for his team. So he sees the enemies instantly if they would go for that Slayer. Kefani doing so much damage, also taking half of her health there. And Krizix is able to get away, while Kefani is able to get away as well. So this is absolutely crazy right now. 4k gold lead just by farming better for Talon right now. They are just farming super well, stealing those jungle camps. And yeah, just increasing their lead so, so much. And this, ooh, very low Florentino once again. This is going to give them a lot of pressure, a lot of um, just time to do stuff. And look at this sip, man. He just keeps sucking up these minions. It is so annoying, man. Look at this. D-Rock is just stuck for another five seconds there. Until he can do that S1. Until he can re-rotate now. Ooh, that Kriknag just completely gets caught out. Is he going to be able to get away? Seems like... Nah, no way, no way. That D-Rock is able to snipe him along with that stun from Florentino, but... Kefani and the rest of Talon have another idea and they just get the mid lane tower. Very well played. Once again, not much um, Pops Bacon Time can do here. They're just getting out rotated and look at this zip, man. He is sucking up that... Oh my goodness, man. I am so tilted. He sucks up that blue buff, rolls away with his ult. Guys. Did they steal? Yeah, they just stole it, man. Come on. Such a stupid hero. Kefani just burns down the blue buff while he's resetting, walking back. That's how much damage he can do by herself. Guys, come on, man. Zip. Remove him. Remove that hero, man. The only good thing about Zip is that I can make my KFC jokes when he has the chicken skin. And he doesn't even have it here. What is going on? 
what should I do, man? Cotton candy jokes? I guess he kind of looks like cotton candy in here. But man, cotton candy, we're not trying to get some diabetes here. We're trying to get gains with that with that KFC, man. You know? So what are we? What what is this going? What is going on? Come on, J Jack. You can do better. Get that KFC skin. Anyway, I think AOV even has a KFC sponsor, man. Come on, guys. You gotta take that KFC skin. Anyway, meanwhile, as I said, this Slayer just instantly down. Kefani and Kricknack do way too much damage. Um, yeah, they are able to push up that wave as well. Who got the Who got the Slayer buff? Uh, the Drake. I think it. Uh, I think Kricknack got it. He might be. Yeah, he wants to use it bot lane. I think he is rotating bot. Is he gonna use it? He's not using it yet. He's not using it yet. Now he used it. Oh, it was Ignis. Okay, Ignis got it. And Ignis just walked um, right to that spot where I thought Kricknack would use it and he used it right there. So uh, the gaming genius predicts the spot perfectly. Anyway, we have the Abyssal Dragon going down. And now this is completely spiraling out of control for Pops Bacon Time. And this zip is so tilting, man. Sucking up these minions. Man, just remove this hero, guys. Seriously. Seriously, guys. And yeah, and he is just rolling in, CCing everyone twice, man, with his stupid ult. Look at him go, man. He just rocks in with his sprint. He is just so annoying. Sucks up that dragon. Why does that work, guys? Come on, man. Stop. Stop. Guys, stop this. Timmy, you're stupid. Who designs this, man? This is the most toxic hero I've ever seen in any game that I've ever played, guys. And I played Dota. You know what Dota has? It has force stuff. You can push your teammate onto a wall and he can't escape for the rest of the game. And you can keep taking the courier away from it, so from him, so he can't uh, buy a portal scroll and portal back to uh, teleport back to base. So what are you trying to do here, huh? You designed something more cancerous than that. What can I say? Anyway, um, 8k gold lead, absolutely insurmountable right now at this point. So we'll see if. Uh, Bacon Time will be able to do anything, but this zip, look at it, come on, man, stop, guys, look at this, man, I'm being tilted, I'm a mid laner, I play this lane, you know, I main this, okay, I see this zip every single time when zip isn't banned, he goes mid lane, sucks up those minions, and I, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, guys, I'm not playing the game, I might as well go AFK, you know what I mean, I might as well go AFK, walk to KFC and get an actual KFC bucket, that will bring me more fun than this zip right now, okay? Look at this, man. What is going on? It's crazy, dude. It's absolutely crazy, guys. I'm so tilted watching this. I'm very glad there's no esports in the EU anymore. I'm honestly glad seeing that because zip is so cancer. I I'm not even gonna lie. That is absolutely insane. I don't know why he's not banned. <laughs> I have no idea. The bait time must be crazy to not ban him. <sighs> guys, game becomes unplayable against Zip. I cannot stress that enough, especially if you're a mid laner. How much did this Dirac do so far this game? Nothing. Do you know why? Because he's stuck clearing mid lane waves. You know what I mean? He's stuck waiting for those minions because Zip sucks them up 15 times, mate. You know? Guys, it's crazy. Look at this. <laughs> and he looks so funny doing it too. It is such a stupid year. Look, look. And he has his two ready up again. Look. Look. What? He has two cannon minions. He's collecting cannon minions. Catch them all. Look at him. He's trying to collect the cannon minions. Okay, he gives up. He gives up. He realized he's not Ash Catchem. <laughs> he cannot catch them all. But he got the other one. <sighs> Guys, what is going on? This game, only because of Zip, not a single kill has happened in the last 10 minutes. Because both teams are just clearing waves. And Bacon Time is busy clearing waves for twice as long as Talon while get it, getting half the gold because it off zip. Uh, it is crazy, guys. And he, um, Happy will get the fifth dragon for Talon Esports here while also um, the next dragon is spawning, the enraged one, and they will instantly burn this down as well because what is Bacon Time gonna do? Nothing. 10k gold lead almost. There is no counterplay right now. They have a stupid zip. Man, you can't do anything. Prove me wrong. And again, I'm not taking any way, anything away from J-Jack. No matter how broken a hero is, 
you still have to play them well. Unless it's a hero who just instantly kills everyone on the map. But I'm glad there's no game that has something like that. But yeah, um, you know, he's still playing it very well. This is a macro-based hero that has to be played super well. So if you guys are Zip fans and if you are filthy platinum players, okay, who don't have bands, so Zip is not banned, then yeah, play him and learn from j -Jack here because this is a good lesson to all of us. I am learning things about Zip that I don't even want to know and I will in fact bash my head against the wall 15 times after this game um, just so I can forget, okay? So I won't have nightmares about Zip, okay guys? I, I, I like to imagine Zip at that, as that cute little KFC box, you know? I don't want to imagine him as a devil, but this is an absolutely devilish performance by j -Jack right here. He is tearing them apart and yeah, look at this. LOL! He just sucks up everything. That dragon was behind him. He still sucked it up. Hey, hey, D-Rock, you see that little yellow ball that you throw? You like it? It's a broken ability, yeah. But do you know what um, Zip likes? He likes to suck up those minions before you can hit them. Look. Look. Okay, he's not he's not going for it. He's not going for it. He's going mid instead. I thought he would suck up that dragon again. <laughs> and would just... Um, yeah, but he didn't do it. He didn't do it, he just wanted to let that tower burn down. Kefani uses her ult to clear out that wave and they are instantly pushing onto that tower. And this is just complete macro, not a lot of kills, just complete macro gameplay by Talon. Just leaving no openings. This is some 5D chess gameplay, except it is more like 0.5D chess. It is checkers or something because Zip enables brain dead macro. Um, still, j -Jack is playing well, but still. This is very simple for these teams to execute. Um, yeah. <laughs> no counterplay, man. I can't say it enough. And he is building onto that... Um, um, Blade of Eternity, of course. Uh, I, I would like for him to build Fenrir just, just to spit in the enemy's face a little bit more than he already is with that S1. The S1 is literally spit. He literally spits at you, man. And it even connects to a teammate. How broken is that? Imagine you could go around in real life spitting at people and it connects to their teammates. Guys, that is insane. That would be crazy, man. And you're in the KFC box. Guys, it is... It is uh, I cannot... I'm gonna title this complaining about Zip for uh, however many minutes straight, okay? Because this is just... Uh, this is just stupid, guys. This is just absolutely stupid. And yeah... You might be thinking I'm overhyping him, okay? But no, no, guys. Look what he's doing, man. You look. What is this, man? They want to clear this wave, but they don't. Look at him. And now there's a top lane wave, and now he can suck that up and roll into the enemy's base and just end the game and stuff like that. It's, it's so stupid how many options he has. Look at this. And he sucks up the wave. Oh, he messed up. He actually messed up. No, he didn't. The S2 has zero cooldown. The S2 has zero cooldown if you uh, if you cancel it. Uh, look at this, look at this. Look at this D-Rock. He is trying to clear that wave desperately. But uh, it is just too big. And now look, they engage to clear the wave. They engage onto Kef and he just rolls away. <laughs> Ult being used by D-Rock. Again, he just, he's just stalling this game. Oh man, this is so stupid. Where is the counterplay? If you can't clear the minion wave, how are you gonna defend? How is the comeback gonna be enabled? Look, as soon as they rotate again to that dragon, he just sucks it up and spits it out super far away again. But now they're gonna be able to clear it. No, they are not, of course, man. Who am I kidding here at this point? Is it gonna push mid lane now? Let me see. No, it goes back. I thought if you pull it close to the mid lane, it pushes mid. But that would be way too OP. That would be really, really broken. A saving grace maybe for bacon time here. I just saw Muramasa completed on Violet, which of course boosts her damage a lot against all that armor on Zip, on Yena, on um, Ignis with his Beriths. So um, yeah, maybe guys. But I, guys, I think this is just this is just Talon playing around with bacon time. Talon literally pulling out their Mangekyo shutting gun and using um, Genjutsu onto Bacon Time, and Bacon Time thinks they're coming back, but their base, their core is long gone, okay? On Bacon Time's screen, you can see it is like, 
I don't know, man, like 10 to 10 and it's like a close game. On our side, on our street, it is 3 to 5 and nothing is happening and just they're just out macroing uh, vacant time slowly but surely here. But on Talon's screen, the reality actually, we're all under a Genjutsu, except for me, of course, that's why I can see it. Guys, I have the Rinnegan, man. Do you really think you can use a measly Mangek, your Sharingan, Genjutsu on me? What is wrong with you guys? Anyway. Um, of course, I can see the core is already gone 10 minutes ago. I don't know, man. Like, what are you trying to do? This game is already over 10 minutes ago. I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm just complaining about Zip and talking about Naruto at this point. We should make a Naruto. We should make an anime podcast, man. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. Tower of God was pretty insane. Uh, that last episode was a little bit slow, you know. Uh, but other than that, you know, really nice. I'm really a huge fan of Crunchyroll. Uh, they are dishing out some nice little animes. Uh, God of High School, if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely check it out. It is, for me, um, one of the best episodes in anime I've ever seen. Uh, very, very sick hype build up there. So, um, really looking forward to it. The next episode is coming in one and a half days or something. And yeah, guys, I don't know, man. Guys. It is hard being a caster when nothing is happening. I'm not gonna lie. They finally got those two base towers and the third base tower is really low HP. Now, if you are asking yourself, why is Talon doing this? As I said, they aren't, man. This is game over. We're all, you guys are under a game to you clowns. You, got, you gotta stop it, man. You gotta break out of it. But I mean, if you, guys, can, what can I say, man? Mangi Q shining gun, what are you gonna do? Nothing, right? There's not much you can do, man. You're just done, though. So you're, you're just done, man. Anyway, um, there is a team fight starting finally, and Bacon Time is winning it pretty hard here. They are able to pick up that Crick Knack. They get a double kill, but of course, the endless cycles are coming through. And now, let's see if this will be a comeback. This will be hilarious. Turns out, Bacon Time, we were under their Genjutsu, man. They have the infinite. Mangekyo Sharingan, okay? What can I say, man? N not only did their brother, um, not only did their best friend die, their brother died and they pulled the eyes out of them and they got the infinite Mangekyo Sharingan awakened. So they are straight back in this game using their complete Susano here. And yeah, I don't know what to say, man. I, I think we can finally continue with some normal commentary. Because uh, this might be a game finally again. I don't know if JJack will just uh, be able to keep doing what he's been doing so far. There's still 7k gold ahead. But again, um, a single mistake means a good Krizix pull, a good engage. And look at this, man. Why is Zip CC immune during his suck? Why? Why, guys? Timmy must be virgins because that's not how it works in real life. Let me tell you that, boys. <laughs> oh, man. We are getting demonetized for this stupid game, man. What can I say? That was such a stupid joke, man. But I had to do it, guys. I just had to do it. I apologize. I'm going back to Naruto jokes right now, okay? And Talon is able to get another Enraged Abyssal Dragon. Eight dragons on their side. Four Slayers. <laughs> Three, all the towers down. Bacon is still on an equal foot here because of that D-Rock, because of that Violet damage. Just a really good late game with that Florentino as well. Zephyr, um, again, outscaling that Krikknack. Krikknack becomes really useless late game, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I feel like um, in a 5v5 scenario, you can't really do much because you can't single up anyone and you just jump in. You can do still a ton of damage, but you just instantly die. So I'm not too big of a fan, but meanwhile, Bacon Dime is able to get this Slayer. Guys, we only have to wait 15 minutes, and finally we have the game going back on again. That was a pretty long pause. Usually I skip those pauses, but this time we looked at it. And yeah, the game continues, man. 25 minutes. This is hilarious, guys. I'm enjoying this. Thank you for recommending this, because even though it is absolutely stupid and shows how stupidly balanced AOB is right now, it is still fun, you know, because I was able to make some Naruto jokes and I was able to flex my knowledge. Hey, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a pretty huge Naruto connoisseur, okay? I know how you evolve all those things, you know, the Mangekyo, the infinite Mangekyo, the Rinnegan, you know, guys, I know all of that in and out, boys. So, hey, 
you guys chill out. I know it's a garbage anime in the end of the day, at the end there, but when you watch something, when you're like 11 or something, you start watching it, and then you keep watching it for like 10 years, and then even if the ending is kind of meh, you're still, you're still a fan, okay? Chill out, guys. And yeah, we'll see what happens here. 6 to 6 on the 6, 12 kills in 25 minutes, guys. 26 minutes. 12 kills. We have seen some games. The last game I reviewed was, of course, that stomp. And it was like 8 kills in 2 minutes. And here we have 12 kills in uh, 26 minutes. So I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Zip, guys. I'm a big fan of Zip. I think this is a very balanced hero. It is beautiful, man. You can make those KFG jokes. Ah, guys, it is just look at this, man. Oh, I think it's GG now. I think I don't think the, the, they can come back. I think it's GG because Zip, yeah, look at this. Yeah, I think it's GG. Ah, uh, this, this is no counterplay. No counterplay. He just keeps sucking up those minions. And if you have like nine of them, it is GG. Look, they will try to clear them up. And now he will just suck them in. And GG, yeah. And now he can soon ult back to the next wave again. And then it's completely GG. He's trying to uh, zone them away. The Krizix gets caught. They instantly gauge. That was a very nice play by Talon. And again, they are just making time here. Oh, he missed two. That is very sad. He still has... How many does he have there? Four. Four. And the next wave, it will be seven. Okay? So he needs to get them and ult back. Get them. He doesn't even have to ult back. They're all together. Okay, nice. He can ult for the next wave. And then he will have ten. Ten super minions. And at that point, you just roll into the base, and it is game over, okay? And he's exactly doing it. Oh, guys, I love this. This, this is worth. This, this was worth while watching. Oh, man, I love this, dude. This is hilarious. I've never seen this. I've never seen this, honestly. Not even in my ranked games. Uh, because the zips are too bad to do it. They, they just keep messing up. And uh, this is actually not easy, but you can see. This is hilarious. But you need to suck it up. If they can clear it out... Oh, no, they, they're clearing it out, guys. Yo, 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 suck it up. Suck them up. Okay, they're just deciding to engage, but they're just getting burned down here. Puck is super low. Come on, come on, Zip. Zip, you need to suck them up. You need to suck them up. Ah, he rolls away. Ah, he messed up a little bit. As I said, it's not easy, but they are able to win that team fight. However, the endless cycles are coming out, and I'll, I will see if that D Rock can clear it out. He can't, and now Zip can roll in, and now we have the 15 um, super minions there, and it's game. That was hilarious. Honestly, even though there wasn't too much happening, that was hilarious. You, man, look at him, man. He's happy with his performance, man. But JJ, come on, dude. That is... Look, Hawk knows. Ah, AoE is so stupid, man. Wild Rift comes soon. That's what Hawk is thinking right there, man. <laughs> what can I say at this point, man? JJ should get MVP because he was the only one playing the game. I'm not gonna lie. When you have a zip... Zip is the only one playing the game. Uh, Yina gets MVP, even though she didn't do... She did absolutely nothing. <laughs> but again, no one did anything except for Zip. But he's not gonna get MVP because he has two deaths. Anyway, we'll see how much damage dealt. Um, it doesn't really matter. 50% on D-Rock. 50 juice, mate. 50 percentage juice. Ah, uh, he's tilted. Anyway, guys, I'm tilted as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. Subscribe to my new anime channel coming in very soon. And yeah, I will see you guys the next time. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.